welcome to Build. Please, once again, we are live from London. Please give it up to today for today's guests, Larry and George Lamb. <laughs> Dad, Dad was threatening to dance when he heard the intro music there. there. You go. Thank God he <laughs> didn't. That scare everybody away. Yeah. So we're going to chat about your new show, Britain by Bike. But first of all, if anyone's got any questions, then please tweet them to us on at Build Series LDN or leave a comment on Facebook. Welcome to Build. Thank you. How are you both doing today? Yeah, good. You? <laughs> we're, we're really good, actually. We're really good. It was my little sister's uh, 18th birthday yesterday. So yeah. uh, oh. we're all we're kind of riding high off the back of that, basically. Well, yeah, it was my, happy my birthday. birthday on Sunday, so it's a, it's a birthday week. <laughs> When's yours? Is yours? December, which oh. is miles away, which is a shame. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been a beautiful kind of trio. But uh, yeah. Dad's turning 70 on Sunday. Yes. Uh, oh, nice. Which, in fact, is why we why we went on this trip in the first place. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, so whose idea was it? Yeah, well, it was a kind of a joint thing. When I, George took me to the Himalayan foothills when I was 60, and uh, we went wandering and walking through. And I can remember laughing and joking about, I wonder if I'm going to make it to 70, and what am I going to do then? So we got into this conversation because we'd been talking about doing things with Channel 5 and different ideas were coming up. And he said, well, why don't we do, you know, kill two birds with one stone and we do a TV thing and a trip round Britain on a bike. So, and that was it. That was great. The last time we'd been on a bike together, was he was a little boy and I had him on a, on a seat on the bike riding him around all around London. So it was a... It was a we revisit. tried that for a bit. It didn't yeah. work out. <laughs> and, uh, and so we got two bikes this time. Yeah, exactly. And, and I Dad's got an was, electric bike. Dad's was electric. Which, yeah. yeah. I have a, a electric bikes are the way to go when you're hitting 70. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> well, there are times where you felt a bit jealous of that. Yeah, most of the time, actually. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's so like obviously I'd start gunning it up these hills, and when you're in the Yorkshire Dales, for example, they are by you know their very nature they are it's all hills, and um, and just as I'd get to the kind of uh, to the um, the crest of the hill, and I'd be blowing, and I'd you know, and Dad would just start just kind of coming up really slowly beside me and be like, oh, you want to get an electric bike, you know, which is funny <laughs> once, but the twentieth time you're like, Dad, please. Um, yeah, he didn't he didn't moan when I towed him up the last part of one hill. Yeah, that's though. true. That is There's true. No moaning yeah, at all. I said I, I was like, this is I genuinely can't do this. I like I can't do, and I, for some reason I had a huge. It was early on, and we didn't realise how difficult it was going. I had this huge backpack on, and uh, we had to fashion a kind of tow rope. Uh, and so uh, you'll see in, in uh, Friday's show, um, Dad's just kind of just like, you know, going along and I'm behind him with this rope and feeling super embarrassed, but also quite <laughs> pleased at the same time. It was, uh, yeah, yeah, it was a good touch. <laughs> so you mentioned a bit earlier as well, so you haven't cycled together in a really long time, but I take it as something you both enjoy separately? Yeah, well, I've, 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 to be perfectly honest with you, I've, I've not been cycling for years. Um, I think really when he was a little boy was the last time I, I did a lot of it. Um, and the trouble is, if you live in London, it, it, it's too often it's a bit scary. But uh, but but this has kind of revitalised my my thing, and you know I've actually started biking again. We were out, we were we were going uh, in and out of town last week on our bikes. With all, oh. I got my lycra on, obviously. Um, <laughs> I just, didn't. Uh, Dad obviously. didn't. And, um, and yeah, it's it's the the yeah the only problem is we live uh, on 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 the top of a massive hill. So uh, Dad again was fine, and I had the same problem as last time. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, biking's come back for us. It's making a comeback. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And aside from obviously, you know, you've gone on this trip together and I mean, presumably you went on sort of holidays when you were a child. But have you travelled much together as adults? Yeah, we we um, you... we just went to where, we, what were you going to say? No, we did. We've for, for a father and son. Yeah, we've done we've done a lot. We've, in fact, we've done a lot more travelling together now as we're adults than yeah. we did when you were a little boy. Dad was off gallivanting when I was a little boy, yeah. basically. <laughs> I sometimes used to take him with me gallivanting. Yeah. Get as him a prop. Get him in a plane and fly him out there to make it look like I was a responsible father. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's the truth. I remember the first time I said to him, "Look, I'm in, I'm in Madrid, and you know nothing's going on here. I'm sitting around. Would you, would you like to come? You know, but the thing is, you're going to have to get on a plane on your own. There was this long silence, and okay, Dad, I will. Of course, on the day, I hadn't been doing anything for about, I suppose, a week and a half. And on the day, the one day he was coming, I had to get somebody else to go at the airport and he was met at the airport by two colleagues of mine and brought on and he and he and he's sort of been a traveller since then. Yeah. What so what do they call then? you like solo flyer or or a unaccompanied minor, mm. that's what I was. A lot of that. <laughs> yeah. 
and you'd get to go up in the cockpit and they'd give you, you know, pencils and a, and a, a uh, you know, drawing pad and all the rest of it. It was great fun. Yeah. That sounds really cool, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. I'd have loved it when I was a kid. <laughs> So Before the war. <laughs> you know. No, after the war. <laughs> and you certainly didn't get on planes. You got on a train or you got on a coach. If you were lucky. End, if you were lucky. <laughs> yeah. And not very often at that. <laughs> so back to the series then. When did you film it? How long did you kind of spend doing it? We, uh, we went for the month of May. And mm. it was to the point where Channel 5 are a bit worried they're going to start getting complaints. We had a heat wave the entire way round. The only day where it wasn't sunny was a day we were transiting between Scotland and, uh, and, Yorkshire. and Yorkshire. And then the minute we got back on the bikes, it was, it was you know, beautiful blue skies. It really was. Um, I don't know how much time everybody here spent out in the countryside uh, in the UK, but it, it's, it gives anywhere a run for its money if the sun's shining. <laughs> and um, and some of the people we met, I don't know, it just kind of reinvigorated uh, my love for Britain and for British people. And it really was, it made me, um, you know, so often we're like, spend a whole time trying to run away, get on a plane, get to the other side of the world, you know, and actually we've got all this beauty on our doorstep and there's loads of amazing people doing the most, you know, just wonderful things like you'll see in Yorkshire. We, um, we go, uh, we work a sheepdog, which is one of the coolest things I've ever done. And we go to a sheepdog uh, auction, which was just wicked and a totally different culture, like something we've never really been involved in. Um, and we, then made, we made pies. We went Yorkshire pie making. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. We ate a lot of pies, but we did actually <laughs> make some. We and, went um, ferret racing, which nobody seems to have ever even heard of, and it's which is the best thing ever, yeah. by the way, ferret racing. I mean, yeah. is that exactly what is that what it says on the tin? Just ferrets racing. They make they get these they kind of fashion a, a course with two pipes. Like there's a pipe with a kind of U bend with some with some cage wire, so you can see. Uh, the, where, how far the ferrets are going. You have three of those across the ceiling and then you put the ferrets down and basically everybody just screams and cheers and hopefully the <laughs> ferret comes all the way round. Sometimes and they stop and have a sleep. Yeah, and, and you, <laughs> they do, yeah, yeah, and they have to kind of yeah, coax like the ferret the out. They're shouting and hooting and banging on the pipe and the ferret never comes out. Yeah. <laughs> and then you bet on it and it's great fun. Yeah. That's absolutely mad. Because yeah. you had, didn't you? I read that you did. You have kind of a list of like a bucket list of challenges that you wanted to do. We we lit, we've done every, we've done everything we wanted to do and everything we didn't even know we wanted to do. Frankly, <laughs> like we've you know we went out um, across the series. We did all you know. We went out uh, lobster fishing and we fly built, fishing. We, we built camps yeah. and we slept in a teepee. Yeah, we did sleep in a teepee. <laughs> we went surfing. Dad did his first surfing yeah. uh, lesson ever disaster. at seventeen. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolute disaster. That was pretty good. It was pretty good. And um, I was good on the board on the sand. I was hopeless when I got on the water. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it, it was magical, really. And and thankfully the sun shone. And uh, and yeah, we just had the best time. Well, you mentioned fly fishing there, and this is one yeah. that I thought we could talk about because I heard a rumor, Larry, that you weren't very good at it. Neither of us were Neither very good. Neither of us were particularly good at it. And the frustrating thing was that when you're in a, like a, a, a farm place, that you know, a fish farm place that does teaches you how to do fly fishing, instead of sort of being on the edge of a river and you can't really see anything, all you could see were these, these trout moving all the way around the water. So it's so frustrating. You, you're, you're trying to land the fly near the, near the trout, mm. but nothing, nothing didn't. He, he caught one. I didn't. I, I put it back though. I, I felt looked, really bad. I looked better at doing it than he did, <laughs> yeah. but he caught a trout. Yeah, and and uh, and then when I did get it in, I felt really bad, and we unhooked it and we put it back. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. we could you have kept it and I'm taken it home? Yeah, no, but then we got a fish from the fish shop to eat. I'm trying to be a full <laughs> veggie, yeah. and, uh, and 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 I was kind of I was on the cusp of full vegetarianism whilst we were doing the trip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More kind of on the meaty side of the cusp. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you were Especially when we holiday. got to the pork pies. <laughs> <laughs> and um, also, we're going to see you as well. You do spend a lot of time together. Obviously, you're, you know, the whole point is you're travelling together. But you do spend a little bit of time apart, don't you? Can you tell us a bit about that? You take well, they sort of roads? set up some challenges so that, you know, on one day I was on a, I was on a boat that was travelling the length of a loch up in Scotland. And George had to do the same the same journey, basically, but around around the road that that went along the side of the loch, and uh, 
I think I had a much better time. Yeah, basically, actually. I had to do a really hectic bike ride yeah. whilst Dad did something <laughs> leisurely yeah. in every I'd, every I'd episode. To the cap- <laughs> yeah, is that, yeah. That's what usually do, on really. a boat, kind of going like, yeah. "Oh, look at this! Yeah. Isn't it beautiful?" Yeah. Whilst I'm just like gunning it down some yeah. track, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we yeah. go. The same old sob story. Yeah. <laughs> and how were those physical challenges? Were some of them properly We did hard? Uh, we did Butter Tubs Pass, which I don't. Uh, are there any cyclists in here today? No, one, oh, one, one out of the bag. Only one. <laughs> uh, oh, and there's a lady one. there too. Right, two bad odds or bad, you know. But anyway, <laughs> um, I thought there might have been more. But uh, we, the start of the Tour de France last year or the year before uh, was in Yorkshire, and the first uh, big climb is called Butter Tubs Pass. And it's revered as one of the most hectic uh, kind of inclines in cy- in world cycling. And of course, uh, they decided that would be a good one for me to do. And um, so, yeah, in this first episode, me and a, a kind of semi-pro cyclist uh, go up <laughs> Buttertubs Pass. It, it, it was it was uh, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And uh, and of course, once you get to the top, uh, in spite of all the kind of sweat and tears and you know almost blood, um, <laughs> it was it all seems worth it basically. And I and I went to look at the Ribbledale Viaduct. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which I really enjoyed. <laughs> Were you not tempted by any of the physical challenges, even no. with your electric bike? <laughs> not one of them. <laughs> Not remotely. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wanted to ask you about something as well, because I think sometimes as adults, when you spend a bit of time with your parents, you kind of revert to being a bit of a teenager. Like, you know, when you go home for the weekend, you just, you sort of step back a little bit. Of course. Did that happen at all? Uh, we, um, <laughs> we, we're not bad, you know, like we don't, we don't ruck too much. We, right. we, we had one fight in the New Forest. Yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah. What was that about? You were being grumpy. And was it in the New Forest? Yeah, yeah. Is it? We had one fight in the New Forest. I got a bit grumpy in where we were doing the, what was it, that funny game. Oh, yeah, you did get grumpy. But I found <laughs> when Dad gets really grumpy, I think it's funny, which yeah. obviously <laughs> that kind of adds to the whole and thing. And when he gets grumpy, I don't <laughs> like it. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it, it um, yeah, we, we went to play. Dad had basically had enough by, by, <laughs> the, tour, by the end of the show. And we were... Um, we were, they went. We went to play frisbee, uh, frisbee golf, um, which is as daft as it sounds, yeah. and um, but very popular in America. Very thousands po- and thousands. Uh, Twenty-five thousand frisbee golf courses in America. Apparently, yeah. who knew? Yeah. Um, but but anyway, we went to the one that's in Britain. And um, and Dad wasn't best pleased, but I did get a very good video for my Instagram for it, so uh, yeah. it was all worthwhile. And it was a wor- it was worthwhile in the end because it was th- as ever, you know, the people I was talking to while we were playing the game were absolutely fascinating, and you know, things like farming and understanding about milking cows and understanding about running a farm interests me much more than playing frisbee golf. So uh, <laughs> we killed two birds there. There's not going to be a second series of frisbee golf then. Not frisbee golf. Me no. for me maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to yeah. branch Well, he out was on your good own. at that. He found he yeah. was good at it. <laughs> yeah, and he's sure. very competitive. <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> We've had a comment from Facebook, actually. We've had Mark Hill has said that he's been cycling for years, but only recently started exploring places along the canals and tracks. And like you said, George, this series looks like a nice reminder of how beautiful England is. So, Britain, Britain. Britain yeah. On that, what is the most beautiful place that you visit in the series? I think I think that uh, I think up in the Highlands there myself. Well, that there was one road that led along the side of a, a, a Loch of a Foyle. Loch, Loch Foyle, yeah. God, but then you know we had the most beautiful weather. I mean, this 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 was just so beautiful. You see it on the on the film. <laughs> They've got the pit. Yeah. That's us go. with That's all the us. reenactment crew, <laughs> <laughs> um, pretending yeah, to be Highlanders. Yeah. Yeah. What is happening here? We're, we're, <laughs> like a, we're doing we're doing sword fighting classes. That guy oh, there. <laughs> that guy there's a great big stump man who who teaches people how to 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 fight with claymores and and Scottish oh you know God. Scottish weapons. And so he's got, the, he's got the strongest "don't mess with me" vibe of yeah. anyone <laughs> I've <laughs> ever met. But when boat, you uh, when you talk to him, he's just absolutely <laughs> lovely. And uh, but he does look eyes. a bit fearsome. <laughs> and um, so he was teaching us how to how to do stage fighting. Basically, that was the idea there in Highland style, with a lot of shouting and screaming. 
That's a good party trick for Christmas, isn't it? It is. Quite a, <laughs> quite a strong vibe in a party. Doing <laughs> <laughs> Dad and I, excuse me, guys. Dad and I are just going <laughs> to slip some kilts on and start <laughs> claymore fighting. Don't yeah. mind us. Save it for Boxing yeah. Day, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Boxing Day, good idea. <laughs> so you mentioned as well earlier, you know, you did rub each other up the wrong way sometimes. You don't always get on. Larry, what is your son's most annoying habit? Uh, he's, he's got his mother's uh, lack of uh, lack of concern <laughs> about arriving on time. He's very good <laughs> when he's working, but uh, you know, like his mum, I mean, if they say they're going to be there at one o'clock, well, it's about quarter to three. You probably wonder if they are actually going to come. Yeah, but that's Dad, it. Dad, on the <laughs> other hand, there at half past nine in the morning when <laughs> he was meant to be there at one. <laughs> Parked so. up and ready to go. <laughs> he's a, you know that dad who goes out in the car and like revs the car whilst he, you know so yeah. to let you know he's ready. He's that yeah. guy basically. Yeah. And goes there a day before to find a parking space. That's yeah. what I do. This is what happens when you get old. You just think about parking the whole time. It's it. a shame. It's my life is <laughs> all about parking. Everything's dictated by parking. Yeah. Thankfully on bikes you can just lock them up yeah. everywhere. Otherwise yeah, that, that would have been a whole yeah. another yeah. story. That been, would, yeah. <laughs> been an I'd awful still be show there now. <laughs> Dad's parking in Yorkshire. Yeah. <laughs> so would you say that is Larry's most annoying habit or is there something else? Uh, what's his most annoying habit? That, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. I can feel, I can feel Careful. it burning. He went easy on me, I'll go easy on him. Yes, it's that he's still, he's still he's driving me about time. Yeah. There you go, good boy. <laughs> You own for that. Yeah. <laughs> and did you learn anything new about he each other? He hums a lot. That drives me up the wall, actually. <laughs> and that drives your mum mad as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you learn anything new about each other that you didn't know before you started filming yeah, the series? Yeah, his snoring's got worse. Much <laughs> worse. Yeah. I, there's one day... Never snore in a teepee. That's yeah. what I learned. He, 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 we, um, yeah, we had to share a teepee, and he yeah. had me up... like. For, and you know that rage you get where you could almost kill someone, you know, like, <laughs> and I was just I'm like, stop it, stop it. And it went on for an hour. And, um, and in the end, I just, I went out, I went off, I, I cycled down to the beach and went for a ride. I had a really lovely morning as a result, but um, I was, I was, go, I was tired. See? Don't turn it into a win <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah. 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 And what about you? Did you learn anything new about George? No, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> nothing at all. Same old boring old... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you were going to make another series of this, what other areas of the UK would you like to explore? We, we both, we talked about this a lot. We'd really love to, I, I suggested going north and south of the border in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, you know, because they're both, I mean, I've been to both sides and I've had a wonderful time in both sides. There's this sort of physical divide in terms of a, in terms of a, a, a border, you know, but... That extraordinary, that extraordinary ability of the Irish to talk. So, I mean, this show's really all about talking. It's not really about cycling. It's cycling around Britain's the means of getting around Britain, but this is all about meeting it's people all around Britain. It's quite a lot about Britain. cycling. It's quite yeah. a lot. <laughs> We're on brand, Dad. Yeah, it's not about cycling. Not when you're an electric, <laughs> <laughs> an electric bike. But, um, but no, to go north and south of the border, that's, that's what I'd love to do. Yeah. 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 They're all America. Yeah. Basically, we, we need to go somewhere where they speak English because yeah, uh, we, we, um, we've, we've tried... Uh, how can I, yeah, we tried doing stuff in countries where the people don't speak English. And like, you can't have the crack with people if, yeah. if you're not speaking the same no. language. You can't do banter through a translator. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. it really we don't, gave it a the try time they've a got month. it, or they probably haven't got it anyway, and you have to explain to the translator what the gag was, and then you've got this mystified person who's looking at both the translator and you, and then the translator says something that makes absolutely no sense at all yeah. to anybody. That's it. <laughs> Joke's done. But, like, we had just, it's instant, 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 instantaneous banter with people. And it's just, it's absolutely priceless. And that's what this show's really about. The people that are there with us. And the cycling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like her lamb there. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> and what if you were going to do another series, but... I'm really sorry I'm going to ask this question. Taking the cycling out and putting another mode of transport in. Yeah. Maybe you could go around the coast on a boat or would you like to do railways? Have you thought about Le anything like Dad that? Dad loves kayaking. Yeah, I love kayaking. Yeah. I love to go, yeah. 
Yeah, kayaking around Britain. We swore, Dad took me on a kayaking holiday when canoeing. I was 15, a canoeing holiday uh, when I was 15. <laughs> and, uh, and he loaded this canoe up with enough supplies for about 15 men for six months, <laughs> uh, so much so that we could barely move it. And, um, and I think we lasted a day before we kind of, we, we, uh, we, we took refuge on a little islet. We were going down the River Thames and... Um, and then we had this kind of awful night of just like torrential rain. And, uh, and in the morning we called uh, my stepmom and, uh, and said, can you come and get us? And she was like, you're only four miles from where <laughs> we dropped you. <laughs> and um, and that, was, that, was, that was the last time until this, until this show that we were in a canoe together. So yeah. maybe, you know, for old time's sake, maybe we'll give it a run out. <laughs> Yeah. And this is my final question before we have some from the audience. But can you tell us, have you got any other joint projects in the pipeline? Have you had any conversations? We've uh, we've just we, we've just been in Turkey uh, doing a trip oh. around Turkey, which was amazing. L less banter, obviously, as Dad <laughs> alluded to. Um, uh, that was beautiful. Turkey is one of the most beautiful countries uh, I've ever been to. And the people were incredibly hospitable, and they're having a bit of a tough time of it at the moment. And um, and so it was it was lovely to go and you know share the space with them and and check that out as a as a as a place. And um, and I feel like yeah, and we're having lots of meetings. And, and to be honest with you, we'll see how the ratings do. And if it does well, I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of us together. And if it doesn't, <laughs> a bit less, really. So that's that that's how it works. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so please, if you can, watch it. Yeah, also, exactly. catch it on demand as well, even if you've seen it, because that all counts when they do the, the, the yeah. tally Just up. leave it playing in the background, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At your friends' houses as well. <laughs> yeah. So we have got time for some audience questions. Who is first up? Yeah. Hey, guys. Hello. <laughs> um, and I know you said all that about language, but if language wasn't a barrier, other than Turkey, where would you love to go? If, I mean, for me, there's so many places I've been but would love to go back to. We had an amazing trip on, on my 60th, as we said, to Nepal. I'd love to... I don't I'd love fancy to, that I'd on bikes at no. all. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a, a, big, a big mistake, unless they had square wheels, so you just keep yeah. going up those pathways. I mean, I suppose I'd love to go back to India. I'd love to go to China. I'd love to go back to Australia. Um, there's so many places I've been, but would you know? The, the problem is, you go to a huge country and you get a little taste of it, and you come away and think, God, that was that was like you know an amazing meal. I'd like to go back and I'd like try that again. So Another it's more places, <laughs> yeah, more places <laughs> I've been to already that I'd like to go back. Japan in the spring, that's where I'd like to go. Yeah, yeah, and we go and see all the cherry blossom and um, and yeah, and and, and just and eat a lot of sushi. And yeah, totally. Yeah, our own body weight in raw fish. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Have we got another question? Yep. Have we got another question? Larry. Hi, guys. Um, Larry, I saw on Twitter that you're a fan of loose women. If you could have taken any of those ladies on tour with you, who would it have been and why? That's always a very interesting question <laughs> whenever <laughs> somebody asks you about leading ladies that you've worked with or whatever, and it's absolutely a no-go area. <laughs> it's like one of those questions you never answer because <laughs> one of them might be watching. <laughs> And if they are, I love you all equally. <laughs> and we're going on it tomorrow. So yeah, we'll be on oh. it tomorrow. <laughs> it's probably so not a good day. <laughs> one, one way not to be popular on Loose Women is start talking about what one you'd like to do anything with, yeah. right? <laughs> they, yeah. they, all right, they that's a different show, mate. That's exactly. a different show. <laughs> they start to tighten up. <laughs> a really bad choice of words. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Would you like another question from the audience? Yes. Yeah, Have yeah. we got another question? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, did you name your bikes? And if not, what would you have named them? Ooh. Oh, we didn't name our bikes, but I feel like we missed a trick there. That's a shame. We should have done, shouldn't um, we? But we didn't. You know what? We, we, they, they were... Um, uh, they were given to us by Giant, the bike company, and they are really... Uh, I've got like the light, I've got the most incredible bike basically. I can lift it up with kind of two fingers and and, and dad it, although it's not as light you can um, you can whip up hills with no yeah, effort so yeah. that's, uh, that's I mean, you can, I, mean I, I literally it's so powerful that electric bike when you put it on full power I found myself on a hill like that doing a wheelie it was it was going it's going up, it's going up in the air like I thought hang on a minute I want to want it down here I'm going to go up here but so yeah, I'm so uh, yeah. We, we'll definitely come up with good names for the second series. That's for sure. That's a good idea. Yeah. We missed that one. Yeah. 
We could have had a name in ceremony, couldn't we? Yeah, we could have. It's right. <laughs> fine. Series two, series electric two. viewing. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Well, sadly, that is all we've got time for. So obviously, make sure you tune in to Britain by Bike. It starts airing on Friday on Channel 5 at 8 p.m. Please give it up one more time for George and Larry. 